Hey guys, it's Sam here, I'm the Technical Product Specialist here at Zsphere, the cloud solutions provider for MSPs. So today we're going to be taking a look at the fourth video in the series of Ninja RMM how-to videos. We're going to be covering reports. So we're going to be looking at how to set up your reports within Ninja RMM, the different types of report and report customization, um, how to view reports and change the report logo, and also how to view historic reporting and download them as a PDF. So you can see here, guys, this is the dashboard. So this is the first page that you see when you log into your Ninja console. To access the reporting edit, we're going to go straight into configuration and reports. You can see here, guys, I've already got four reports that I've already previously created. I'm going to show you the edit for a report just so you kind of get a feel of the report itself. So we've got four different types of report. We've got a regular executive summary, asset summary and patch compliance. Now, I'll go through those in a little bit more detail when I generate the reports because you'll see them and kind of how they look. Um, so each report always requires a name. You select your organization that you want the report to bring up the data on. And then you select your users within Ninja. Um, and then you've got the send to emails option. So if you guys as MSPs decide not to give your customers a Ninja logon, you can just send it to their email address direct from Ninja. And this will just reoccur. So if you set this report to recur monthly, it will just reoccur monthly and constantly send out that report monthly. So you can select the recurrence here. You can select the scope. So you can do last month, last three months, last week, this month or custom. The language can be set to English or French. You can recur it every so many weeks or months or days. Um, if you do it monthly, you can choose the day of the month which you want the report to recur on and a time to send the report at. Um, and then you've got a never for ending or you can choose it to end after or on a certain date. The email body is a really good little thing, guys, because you as MSPs want your customers to feel valued and you want them to feel like they're important to you. So you can customize this email body to make it really quite custom to them. These sections at the bottom are completely customizable, so you can turn them on and off and you can select whichever ones you want or don't want. With an executive summary report, you don't have the options at the bottom and that will become apparent when you see the report because it brings up a specific data. The asset summary report obviously has different options to the regular report and so does the patch compliance report. So let's take a look at each different type of report. Now, you've got two options to view a report. If you click generate, it will download the report. If you click view, it will open it in the browser. So this is a regular report. We can change this logo here, and I'll show you to do that after we've looked at the reporting. You can see the name of the report and the organization that it's reporting on, plus the date schedule here. So we can see how far on the date that we've actually reported over a session for. Um, we've got the device overview by device type, so five Windows desktops, um, BIOS, script run, so we can see which actions and which ones are reboots, top 10 devices with those reboots and actions on, antivirus protection status, so we can see that we're 100% protected, so we've got five protected devices. The solution, so we've got Windows Defender antivirus and Windows Defender. And then we've got the definition status of up to date. So all of our devices are up to date, which is what you want to hear. Antivirus deployments. So this is a really neat little feature that Ninja added within the reporting. So you can see all of the different types of antivirus on here next to the name of the devices with the state, the definition status and the last check in. Now, Ninja RMM works with Microsoft Security Center. So the integration works amazingly well. So any antivirus which is picked up by uh, Microsoft Security Center will be shown in here with its state, its definition status and its last check-in. I think that's pretty awesome to be honest guys. You've also got product keys at the bottom here so you can see your OS product keys within this report. This is a great little report to send to your customers. It's quite informative and it just gives them a general overview of what's going on. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the executive summary report now. So this is a lot less wordy for your customers who don't really like to be bogged down with a lot of information that they might not understand. So you've got a health overview, proactive monitoring, server availability, disk health, and antivirus protection. Site overview by device type, BIOS, and then a system overview. So this is a nice little summary. So you can see that we've got five protected devices, no software has been added or removed, no hardware has been added or removed, 
team viewer devices and sessions, any alerts triggered and actions run. And then we've got a device spotlight. So we've got devices with most alerts, new devices added, devices that have had infections and devices with low disk space. So this is a really great little report. It doesn't give too much information, but it'll give your customers an idea of how healthy their machines are and what's going on. Let's have a look at the asset summary report. So we can see here, guys, we've got a device spread. So we can see that we've got five workstations, which are Windows. We've got an asset change log here, devices by operating system. And then we've got Windows and Mac device details. So we can see the um, device name, the vendor, the serial number, the OS, install date, processors, memory, disk drives by size, status, and type, IPs, DNS, and gateways, domains, last login, last boot time, and uptime. So you've got quite a lot of information on here. So you can see how the, re the reports vary and how some of your customers might feel a little overwhelmed by the amount of information. Then you've got an NMS device spread. So if you guys are doing the network monitoring, you'd be able to see how many um, network monitoring devices you've got on here and then devices by type. We've got a device spread by component type. So we can see the processor information, sound card info, hard drive, and then hard drive um, spread here. So this is a really great little feature, very, very accurate. So we can see the device details, serial number of any drives, the vendor, the model, the disk drive type, and the status. So if you've got any pred fills or any issues, they'll be flagged up in here. Then we've got a device list with disk volume details. So we can see all of the drive letters, the drive types, file systems, capacity, use base, and free percentage. So this is a really neat little feature. It just gives your customers an overview of how their disk drives are doing, whether they maybe need to upgrade if they're using a lot of their percentages up. And then you've also got RAM capacity at the bottom here as well. Let's have a look at patch compliance. So the patch compliance report is really, really good within Ninja. So you've got the top devices with failed OS and failed third party patches. So you'd be able to see the devices here with the fill patches and the last scan date. We've got top devices with pending OS patches and pending third party patches, top filled OS and failed third party patches, top pending OS and pending third party patches. And then we've got a patch enablement score. So this is really good. It tells you how many machines have had their patches enabled. And then you can see an overview of the patch percentage. So within the workstations, we can see the device details if patches have been installed and how many, how many have been approved, pending and failed, the last scan date and if a reboot's pending. Servers, so if you're monitoring your network monitoring um, servers here, you'll be able to see all of that information for your servers as well as your desktops or your devices. And then we've got a patch data so we can see how many patches were installed in total, how many of those were OS and how many of those were third party. And then we get a nice little overview with a patch compliance score at the bottom. Historic reporting. This is a really awesome feature that Ninja added in. So if your customer rings you up and says, MSP gods, I'm stuck. I've lost my report for two months ago. And I think something may have changed there. Can I have that report sent to me? Yes, you can. So you guys can come into Ninja. You can filter by name or organization. You'll be able to view all of your historic reports here. And on the right hand side, you'll be able to view those as a PDF which means you can then send it on to your customer in an email, job done. Happy days, MSPs. To change the logo within your reporting, you just need to go into settings and click change. And you can change that logo to be your company's logo, make it a little bit more custom. That sums up the reporting for Ninja RMF. Now that you've watched the video, guys, you might have a million and one questions and want to know more. If you want to know about any of our other products or Ninja RMM, feel free to get in touch. My details are on the screen right now. You've got my email address and my phone number. Also, don't forget MSPs. If you sign up as a Zsphere MSP partner, you get some great benefits. So you'll get some discount on top of your additional um, existing discount for being an MSP. You'll get extended product trials, the Z Magazine subscription, which is purely for MSPs, VIP events and some free product licenses. It takes 20 seconds to sign up. Check that out now at zsphere.com. You won't be disappointed. 
Thanks for watching the video today, guys. So that was the fourth video in the series of Ninja RMM how-to videos covering reporting.